Hello, fellow fleet and mobility players. So it's good to see you all again. And um, based out of San Diego, California, Lydix is a leading provider of video telematics in several countries. It offers analytics, safety, and productivity solutions for commercial and public sector fleets, as well as customized services and programs such as driver safety, risk detection, fleet tracking, compliance, and fuel management. And today I'll be speaking with Fernando Ferreira, the company's channel sales director in Latin America. He'll be giving us an idea of what is happening in the 28 country region. So hello, Fernando, how are you doing today? Hello, how are you? Uh, doing great, excited to be here. You're in Houston, I guess. You're based out of Houston, right? I am, I'm based out of Houston, Texas. Um, our headquarters, as you said, is in San Diego. Uh, but I manage Latin America and I'm, uh, I'm in Houston. Yeah, basically I've been, so I've been to Houston, of course, it's, it's almost Latin America, a lot of the Mexican culture over there. Um, so uh, first, I guess the first question I have for you, Fernando, is that could you tell us a little bit about Litex footprint in Latin America? So basically how many, I don't know, how many countries you serve or maybe the key people to contact in the region and, and also do you have any expansion plans? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we, we started expanding into LATAM about a year ago. Uh, we go to market through partners. Uh, so it's an indirect model. Uh, we currently have partners in Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Costa Rica, uh, all of the Caribbean uh, and Peru. Uh, we are expanding into other countries as, as quickly as possible. Um, uh, the demand is there for our products and services. So we are very excited to continue to expand uh, throughout 2022 and, and 2023. Uh, in terms of contacting us, you can contact me directly um, or you could go to our website and contact us through that contact page. Uh, you can also contact us through one of our partners in the region, which are not difficult to find. Uh, so yeah, please feel free to come to us with any questions or needs. We are we're here to help you and uh, also our partners. Okay, good, good. Um, the second question I have is maybe a little bit tougher. So in the region, so controlling fuel consumption, also improving driver safety and then other things like achieving regulatory compliance. These are some of the things, some of the challenges in Latin America for the fleet manager. Eh? Um, which one of these, I don't know, which one do you think is more challenging and how can it be solved? Yeah, so, so because we are a video telematics provider, we focus a lot on the uh, safety and security aspects of it. So what we've seen is uh, security is a high priority. Uh, I believe once our customers have security under control and then safety, there's a lot that can be done in terms of fuel consumption and, and sustainability. Uh, you know, traditional telematics show you what happened and where it happened. Uh, we, with video, show you how it happened. So we are really focused on, on security and safety right now, and we believe we are a leader in that space, not only in the US, but worldwide. And uh, that's the value our video solutions will bring. Obviously, we are integrated with our partners um, in different ways. We believe integration brings more value to our customers. So that will help us control not only safety, security, but then think about fuel consumption and sustainability, as I said. Yeah, yeah. so it's interesting. I've seen some of the stuff you got going on. So you got like video telematics, you got the regular term, and you got video. Video is a, is a, is a nice tool, is a nice tool. Um, do you, can you mention what, what interesting innovation, uh, if you could speak in more specific terms, do you see coming to the fleet management market and let's say within the next year or so, and do you see it coming to Latin America? Yeah, so this is, this is a great question because we are very, very focused on two things right now. Uh, one is AI, artificial intelligence. So what else can we do with video and artificial intelligence to bring value to our customers? Uh, we do things, simple things like detecting fatigue and distraction. We detect when a driver is distracted, drinking on the cell phone, not wearing a seatbelt, eating. So those are kind of basic things, right? We also use AI to manage the distance to the vehicle you're following. Uh, so tailgating is something that we do with AI. And we will bring more AI 
uh, to the cameras, we test the models, we feed these models with millions and millions of videos of driving from uh, all of our customers. And uh, all of these videos feed the algorithms that give us this great, great AI ability on our cameras. Uh, also, we are strong believers in integration. So our platform is easily uh, integrated into our partners' platforms, where if one of our partners has a telematics uh, user interface, they can add vid video easily using APIs to integrate into our cloud. Uh, this allows our partners to show video of events that were created by their platforms. So uh, that's, that's where we see innovation uh, in terms of AI and, and integration in the next year. Uh, in terms of LATAM, we are not a US first uh, product. So we, when we release a product, it is released worldwide. Uh, and we make sure that it's available to LATAM as soon as it's available everywhere else. So anything we develop will be available to LATAM. Not only that, we are developing specific functionality for the LATAM markets. So we are very focused in providing a solution that uh, caters to uh, the LATAM market needs. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a brief chance, my chance right now, just to say that, you know, so we're gonna have the fifth edition of the Fleet LATAM conference. And it's just around the corner. It's taking place on April 26th at 9 a.m. Mexico City time. Uh, it's virtual this time around, so anyone can attend as long as you have an internet connection. And uh, we're gonna have approximately 20 speakers from some of the largest and influential companies in the world. So they'll be speaking at the event, including Fernando from Lytics, of course. And um, remember that we're gonna be conducting this in three languages. Eh? So we're gonna have like English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Um, and thanks again, I guess, uh, of, of course, to the, the sponsors, one of which is Lytics, and uh, which is helping us to make the conference free of charge. So um, I guess you can, you, I can, I'll mention the website. So let's visit fleetlatam.com for more information. So with that said, um, Fernando, um, what do you see coming out of the Fleet Latam conference? What do, you, what do you see coming out of there? Yeah, I think our, our focus is on networking, right? Uh, it, it's been difficult in the last two years uh for all of us to network so just just having the conference getting to meet people virtually and uh, eventually uh in person uh, this year uh, i think is is a great value so i'm just looking forward to seeing everybody virtually and eventually in person uh, in the next uh, in the next event uh, by the end of the year yeah yeah so we're, we're gonna have so this one is virtual like Fernando said, but we're going to have, an, we're, our plans to have one at the end of the year. And from what I understand, it's probably going to be in Mexico City. It'll be great to see everyone once again, face to face. Um, last but not least, could you give fleet and mobility managers out there watching just some tips, Fernando? Um, I don't know, let's say like three tips, just briefly saying like one sentence. Uh, what do you have in mind? Yeah, I'll just repeat what we hear from our customers, right? Uh, I would say A, track everything you can. Uh, B, make your decisions based on the information you're tracking. And last but not least, uh, don't miss the event. It's going to be great. We're gonna have our CFO, uh, Lytics CFO uh, speaking too. So we are very excited to have you. And uh, the last tip is don't miss the event. Okay, so yeah, good. So good tips uh, once again. So thank, thanks a lot, uh, Fernando and also Lytics um, and those out there watching. So we look forward to seeing you at the conference. Take care. Thank man. you very much.